Anthony William, The Medical Medium, Facebook Live, right here. Um, you can ask me questions. I'll start answering them right away about any kind of symptoms, conditions, and I'll look out for them. I want to talk about some other symptoms and conditions, too, that you've already asked me on the Facebook page. So it's great to be here. Saturday morning. I'm excited. Let's get down to it. By the way, we got a few days left of the Berry Challenge. So we're in the Berry Challenge still. We're giving away um, books. We're giving away the whole bit. The package of three books. This one, the thyroid book. Life-changing foods, right? Giving away that. And also some wild blueberry powder. So it's pretty exciting. And I gotta say I'm proud of everybody for just being involved in the Berry Challenge. And I wanna go into that a little bit, a little bit longer. But so we wanna talk about chronic reflux, so acid reflux, because you guys ask me that all the time. And acid reflux is, that whole condition is based upon the liver. And what happens is, in medical research and science, they don't know it's liver related. So they just think, hey, you know, something's going on in the digestive tract, maybe somebody's under stress. Um, they look for scar tissue, they look for a problem in the esophagus, and usually that's what's going on with acid reflux. They try to do medications to suppress it, because basically that's what happens. These are just medications to suppress the acids. Good morning, everybody. It's so great to be here, really. Awesome. And But with acid reflux, it's really a liver condition. So if you get acid reflux later on in life, that's because the liver is underproducing bile. And that's a big part of how acid reflux starts because the liver's tired and it's underproducing bile. So that's something to, to consider. So for acid reflux, you could do the aloe vera. I like doing cutting open the leaf right open, scooping out the gel and eating it. You know, if you do that every single day, it's really helpful. Another big winner to, to help heal the liver for acid reflux is celery juice. I got it right here, okay, of course. Got my celery juice, which I'm gonna probably down in a little bit. Good to see everybody there. You got bad acid reflux? So yeah, so so I would, for sure, I would be bringing in celery juice on a daily basis. Sometimes acid reflux can be with somebody for a long time. You could have it for years and years and years. It's not gonna go away the first time you actually drink some celery juice. It's not gonna go, although I see it happen where I see people get rid of, you know, the whole thing. I'm gonna talk about sciatica too. I saw, I saw something about sciatica, um, sciatic nerve pain. So. So the whole thing is, you know, you can get your acid reflux to go away pretty fast sometimes, even if it's just temporary with a little bit of aloe vera. Um, licorice tea, I notice, is really helpful for getting rid of acid reflux. So, but, but know that it's a liver condition to begin with. It's from, it's from diets of way too high fat, or the liver gets sluggish from all these toxins that are built in there for years and years and years and years and years. And I talk about liver rescue. Yep, liver rescue is coming out. This isn't the book. It's just the manuscript. The book, the book's coming out though soon, so make sure you uh, lock down one. But, and, and I talk about acid reflux in there too, so you can really get solid answers of what you can take for your acid reflux, what you can do for your acid reflux. But just know that if you're doing the celery juice every single day, I see people get rid of their acid reflux after doing it for a month. I've seen it because the liver recovers. It's recovering from that celery juice. So you can actually work on getting rid of it. It's, it's an amazing thing. So that's these are just a couple little things. Licorice tea every single day. Just a little bit of licorice tea. Celery juice every single day. Look, I, I don't want anybody to get overwhelmed. The one thing is you do one thing. If you, it's one thing is all you can do. That you use aloe vera juice every day. Fantastic. Great advice. Well, hey, you're using it. You're probably telling people too. You're giving people great advice. It's amazing. You have a hard time losing weight. Going to go into that. Weight issues. Weight issues can come on at, at a time when you think they're not going to come on. What I mean is you could be doing all the right things all of a sudden in your life and then weight gain happen because, not because of what you're doing in the moment, but because of what you did years past. So you always have to know that with weight gain. Weight gain is another liver issue. You'll see actually on the subtitle of Liver Rescue, you'll see weight gain in the weight issues in the subtitle. Um, so I have comprehensive guide in there about weight issues, what you can do for supplementation to get, to get the liver better. But whenever there's weight issues involved, you have to think liver, liver, liver. That's when the liver gets sluggish, when the liver starts getting fatty, 
the weight issues occur. Even if your diet is pristine, even if your diet is absolutely amazing. I've seen people go on all kinds of different diet trends and they're like on fasts, they're on cleansing diets, they're, they're eating mono foods and their weight is still going up because of what happened years past. And I've seen people, it's the strangest thing that happens. And if you can catch it in time and get the liver recovering in time, you can see the weight go down. A lot of people also do change their diet immediately. So you guys probably know you change your diet immediately. You get the weight loss and the weight comes back because the liver still hasn't been addressed. So the whole thing about it, you want the liver addressed. And that's the thing. And with weight gain, it's all about the liver. It's about, first of all, long-term lowering your fats a little bit. So if you're vegan, lower your nuts and seeds and oils. If you're, if you're paleo, lower your chicken, lower your, you know, lower your, um, your animal products of different kinds, get, get rid of pork altogether. And the thing is, is that it's funny because you can do one thing at a time if you need to. One thing at a time. You got liver rescue ordered? Amazing. I'm so excited. Wait till you get liver rescue. I'm telling you, I'm 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 really excited about it because I know when you open liver. First of all, the book is huge. The book is absolutely huge. It not only is is a big book, but it's got a recipe book in the book too. On top of it, I do the recipe book in there on top of it because I don't want you buying two books. I, I'm against that. I'm against you going to buy two books. I don't like that. I don't like when authors put out a book and then all of a sudden they put out a a cookbook with it because. You know, basically that is, hey, buy that book and then wait, buy that book too. And I, I don't like that because when people are sick and they don't feel good, they, they lack the resources. You guys know you lack the financial stability, you lack the resources. And the last thing you need is to have to go and buy a second book. There's no tricks here. There's never any tricks here. That's the whole point. I'm sorry to say that to the haters and, and, and whoever else, but there's no tricks here. Sorry. So Liver Rescue, I'm glad you ordered it. I'm so excited, excited. Wait till you order, wait till you open that baby. I dedicated um, over a year in my life actually, uh, day in and day out, lost a lot of sleep, stayed up a lot of nights to get that done, even all the way to the deadline. So um, the thing is with weight gain is it's about doing, it's about lowering those fats long enough so the liver can recover. So no matter what you're eating in the end, you're, you're losing the weight. And that's the big thing. It, no matter if you're plant-based, you're vegan, you're raw vegan, no matter if you're, you're paleo, you're totally into high-protein diets, you're totally into whatever, if you're lowering the fats, regardless of what side you sit on, regardless of what side you sit on, you guys, if you lower it, your liver will recover. The bile will get stronger. Your hydrochloric acid will get stronger, which the celery juice helps right here. And all of that... All of that gets better, and when the liver starts getting better and it's basically losing that, those fat cells are squeezing out of the liver, and the liver's starting to function. It's like an old engine going, ju -ju 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 -ju. it is a huge book. I just saw it. You know, it is. That liver rescue, it's, it's insanely big. It's unbelievable. And as, as, your, as, your, as your liver starts picking up speed and starts coming out of that sluggishness, it starts coming out of that stagnation. Forget it. You're going to lose the weight. You're going to lose the weight. It's just going to happen. And it's not going to bounce back where you get the weight again, where you get it. I know so many of you have crash dieted, done different kinds of things. You've done the hormone diets where you're injecting, you know, gro human growth hormone in you. You've done everything, taking the pills on 300 calories a day, exercising in the gym, losing some weight, and then bam, it all comes back because the liver's like, no way. Until you fix me, will I be fixed. Until you fix my liver, I'll be fixed. And you can't wait for liver rescue? Oh, you and me both. You and me both because, you know, I can't wait to have the copy in my hand. I, I can't wait. So you, that's the whole thing. You have to fix the liver. And with weight gain and weight issues, the liver has to be taken care of. How do you do that? Well, berries every single day. You guys are starting to do that. Berries every single day. You're starting to do it. You're doing celery juice every day. Bless your heart. God bless you. I, I, that's unbelievable. Exactly. So you got berries every single day. That's what you got to do too. Little that. That helps heal the liver. It helps restore the liver. Helps to actually restore cells. Um, really important. Can you choose celery the night before? Yes, you can. You can choose celery the night before. Of course, it's always best fresh right there, but that's okay. If you want to do it the night before, definitely. One thing you won't get out of me is 
like fears about all this stuff. It's about getting what you can get done a little at a time. Every bit counts. If berries is all you can do and you can't do the celery and you can't do anything else, you just get these in and you know you're going to start working on your healing process. You're going to be changing your life. And it's it, it, seriously, it's a big deal. Someone just said, I have to fix my liver at 911. Well, you know what? Um, there's so much you can do. Start with the celery juice. Get the berries in you. It's why the berry challenge is so important because I want you guys taking away, taking away the, the berry energy with you. I want you to take it away with you. I want you to be walking away with the berries. You know what I mean? After this whole berry challenge, which is coming up, so with the weight gain, get the liver better. The bile starts getting stronger. You get that sluggishness out of the liver. You get that stagnation out of the liver. I'm telling you, that is how you beat out weight gain and you're home free. Home free for down the road. Home free for the long stretch. There's something though that's really annoying, I'll tell you right now, is when you get, when, when people are sick for a long time and they get derailed by something, so they're sick for a long time, like you guys know, right? Being sick for years, chronically ill, sick for years, and you got 10 years in your life invested into, be chron into being chronically ill. So you got 10 years, you got 15 years invested into be being chronically ill, right? And you have to understand, um, it's, it, when you're when you're sick that long, you want the answers. You don't have time to waste. You don't want to wait another five years. And what happens is, even if you're not seeing drastic results in your healing process by doing information out of the books or doing, many people have. And in fact, in fact, uh, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people have around the globe uh, are actually healing and living their life. They're not even doing. They're not even like on social media anymore because they've they're they're moving on. They're healing. They're doing whatever they got to do. They're, you know, what happens is that if you're sick and chronically ill for a long period of time, and you get into the right thing, and your body's turning around and turning a corner, and then you get sidetracked by trend the trend out there or different kinds of trends out there or somebody's somebody's just you know trying to sell something to you they're trying to sell some kind of program to you and they're trying to get you on their side and tell you how this is wrong and this is right it's devastating because you could be set back another five years and still have to come back to the right information five years later or seven years later and still have to get the medical medium books you know and still have to get the books from spirit because remember the books here just so you know these books are not there, there's nothing in here that has the contamination of agendas and having the thumb on the scale and interest groups with studies and everything else like that. You've got to be really careful on that. The stuff is pure. It's untampered with. So you can be free from ever, all the noise. You've got to be really careful. So when you're sick, chronically ill, sick for 10 years, 17 years, 20 years, 22 years, I've seen it all out there. You want to make sure that if you're getting derailed, you first of all, you know you can come back to the right place. But, for, but, but you got to know, it. yeah, it's devastating. I, I feel bad for people. I've seen people have to do it and come back and then work on healing and get better. It's just unbelievable what happens. So just what I'm saying is have the faith, stay on course. Don't lose faith in celery juice is what I'm trying to say, okay? Being that spirit brought celery juice to the world in the sense, not celery, okay? Spirit didn't bring celery to the world, but celery juice by itself and what it does, Um there's only three things that, 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 that the world knew about celery. It's a no-calorie food, it's got salt in it, and it can possibly lower high blood pressure. It's the three things, basically, that went around. Not the, the volumes of information that's in the books and the volume of information that, that I give out about celery juice and the articles and everything else. Just know you have faith and work on it. I'm talking about the celery juice so heavily right now because of weight gain. Weight gain's a big issue. You guys are dealing with a lot of weight gain. And, and so that's a whole big thing, and I realize that for so many of you. So, so with weight gain, you have to do the celery juice if you can, if you can. Get the berries in you if you can. Lower down the fats if you can. I don't care what belief system you got tricked into, sucked into, or you like. Whatever belief system it is, lower the fats and learn what is fat. And that's really important. You got to learn what is in fat. What, what is fat? You got to learn... How much fat's in chicken so you can bring your chicken down? You have to learn how much fat is in nuts so you can bring your nuts and seeds down if you're plant-based. you got to learn how much fat is in stuff because if you get tricked and thinking fat's good because you'll look out there and everything, you guys, you'll look 
you'll see, oh, it's all about fats, fats, fats in water, fats in whatever, fats in coffee, fats in whatever. You just, it, it's amazing how misinformation can literally just be out there and shorten your life down the road. And if it can shorten your life a year or two, doesn't that matter? If it can shorten your life three years down the road, doesn't that matter? If it could shorten your life five years, shorten your life five years of your life shortened because it doesn't matter. If someone's telling you not to eat fruit, you could shorten your life. So, you know what I mean? Someone's telling you not to eat fruit. Sure, everybody's pretty much saying eat some berries now out there. I do see that, but don't be afraid of all fruits, whatever you do. The one thing you won't get me get from me is fear about something. You can eat animal products. I don't put fear into people. You can be vegan. I don't put fear into people. But what you have to know, there are some things to do to actually protect you, get you moving forward, get you so you can heal, have the faith Keep the willpower going. Get it from me if you need it. Take it from me. Take it from the books. Just grab on to that willpower. Grab on to that, that spirit. Grab on to whatever you need, that energy to move forward and heal. You guys, I stand behind you 100%. So acid reflux, we talked about waking. We talked about, somebody asked a question on here about sciatic nerve pain. So the whole thing, um, that that's inflammation 100%. But inflammation that's in the lower spine, on the in the piriformis, um, um, the, the tibial nerve, all that down there running down the back, the sciatic nerve. So sciatic pain is not just sciatic pain, that's sciatic nerve pain. Um, it's not just that kind of nerve pain, it's tibial nerve pain. It's And you don't hear that from doctors. Doctors don't talk about that. It's tibial nerve pain, it's piriformis nerve pain. It's, um, it's, it's, it's coming from inflammation that's generating from the lower from the lower discs. Now people can walk around with with discs all just you know, bulging discs and not have any pain. People can walk around with discs that are all chewed up and not have any pain. People can walk around with discs that are actually breaking apart and not have any pain. But once something happens, like inflammation occurs, not just because something's wrong in there mechanically, but inflammation occurs by a virus called the shingles. And even Epstein-Barr can cause a little bit of back pain, you guys. But a virus called the shingles gets in there. Nobody knows about this. Doctors don't know. Medical communities don't know. And you're sitting there with chronic sciatic nerve pain for years and years and years in um, Medical Medium Book 1, which you could win. You could still win these, these three books. Medical Medium Book 1, I talk about sciatic nerve pain. And, and the shingles and the shingles chapter. So you got to know, and you can just, you can literally, I, there's, there are hundreds and hundreds of people that actually got rid of this. Actually in the thousands now, they got rid of their sciatic nerve pain, their lower back pain, their leg pain, their feet pain, because they knew it was a shingles virus finally at all. So it's, you know, that's the whole point. Um, so that's what happens. That's what the shingles virus does. It can sit inside the lower back. It can sit it can sit in the tibial nerve. It can sit in the sciatic nerve. And the virus can actually get all through there and get all in there. So I'm just telling you how it works. Sciatic nerve pain, we'll cover that a little bit. Um, someone asked about earlier, someone asked about reversing scarring on the lungs. Reversing scarring on the lungs, reversing scarring on in the heart. Somebody talked about that. Um, first of all, reversing, the key is it's not even just reversing scar tissue. It's stopping scar tissue from happening. It's stopping more and more scar tissue from happening. So know that. That's number one. You always have to remember, and I'm going to tell you right now, this is something that you can hold on to, you guys. What about chronic lower muscle, lower back muscle pain? The chronic lower back muscle pain is chronic lower back nerve pain. That's what that is. It's not lower, it's not chronic lower muscle pain. So if you're going to your massage therapist, if you're going to, um, if you're going to your massage therapist or you're going to your doctor and they're like, well, it's chronic muscle pain, it's, it's actually chronic nerve pain. That's what's hurting. Muscles don't hurt. It's the nerve inside the muscle coming off the spine, coming off of that. So it's the same thing. If it's, if it's something that's not mechanical, totally mechanical and, and, and obvious, then you got a viral issue. So you got a the shingles virus. And you can do you can do some L lysine, you can do a little bit of licorice root tea to help it. You can do a little bit of the zinc. You can do a little bit of, you can really, you can really move that forward. Get cold packs on it every single night, get heat on it in the morning. You can move that forward and knock that shingles virus down and um, and do a good job. Lots of vitamin C, you can knock the shingles virus down with lots of vitamin C. But let's go back to scarring on the lungs. It's about, it's like it, with any chronic illness, you guys, with any illnesses. Just so you know, you're rereading thyroid healing. <sighs> bless your heart. God bless you. Seriously, seriously.
Thank you for rereading it. It's the best news I ever heard. You know, some people, they, I mean, a lot of people, they haven't even gotten the book yet. And, and you know, it's unbelievable how it works. But just get better. Get better and get the books so you can get better. It's all I care about. Um, you know, I, I don't put these books together and write these books with spirit for fun. Um, it's not about fun. It's about making sure that you get the answers you need. It's not about putting my name out there or or anything like that. It's not about any of it. And it's all about getting you better. It's all it is. In fact, when Spirit told me I had to start writing books, you guys, I was kind of upset. I was really upset because, you know, it was, it was I didn't want to do it. When Spirit said, you have to write the books. So Spirit said, Anthony, you have to write the books now. We have to. We have to branch out. We have to get it to millions of people. You have to write the books now. I was miserable about it. Absolutely. And because I knew the, the, what it was going to take. And I knew that what I had to do. And I knew what it was going to um, take for me as far as the amount of time out of my life. And I did it anyway because it's, it has to be done. So it's about any illness, you guys, it's about not getting it worse. Always know that. If you're doing something like celery juice every single day, if you're doing something like eating the fruits and vegetables that I talk about in life-changing foods, if you're doing something that's, you're, if you're doing all the things, if you're, if you're going in the books and finding out what herbs, what, what nutrients to take, what you can do for identifying your Epstein-Barr condition, figuring out your Epstein-Barr condition, figure out your different conditions. It's about not getting worse. It's about getting, it's either about staying the same until you get better. Staying the same until you get better. I have some people that it takes two years to heal. A lot of neurological conditions. A lot of times, the nerves take longer to heal than what started the illness, the disease, the condition. So what started the multiple sclerosis, like the Epstein-Barr. You can knock down your Epstein-Barr, start killing your Epstein-Barr. I talk about Epstein-Barr here um, with multiple sclerosis, with, with, uh, with that book. I talk about it in here. Life Changing Foods has it in there. Thyroid Healing has it in there. Um, but just so you know, it's about, it's about, if somebody has multiple sclerosis, if you have multiple sclerosis, and you're working on killing off the very virus that, that no one identified until I did about what's, what causes MS. Now they talk about it like it's, there's, there's a connection to it. So you'll see like some articles like, oh, there's connection to Epstein-Barr and multiple sclerosis. That's because they were forced to do that because of, of what we've done, getting the information out there. And they were forced to actually do that because they don't want to look bad. So what happens is that with multiple sclerosis, you've got the Epstein-Barr virus, you can kill it off, knock it down, start breaking it down, start getting things better in your body, start getting your liver better, and then your neurological, your neurological symptoms get better later. It happens a lot with MS, depending on how injured the nerves are from the virus. And then you can start getting it better and better and better. Um, so of course... Whether you're doing like a blood type thing, someone just had a question about blood type or something, whatever your blood type it is, it doesn't matter. It's about information, true answers. It's about truth. It's about getting the information you need to, 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 to reverse your illnesses, to actually reverse your conditions and get your symptoms better. It has nothing to do with blood type. That's that, that you know, that, that just has nothing to do with blood type. It has everything to do with you need the answer to know what's causing your illness. A blood type, blood, blood type isn't an answer to what's causing your illness, a blood type. So you know what I mean? Oh, I have this blood type. Is that why I'm sick? That's not possible. You can't have a blood type make you sick. It's not humanly possible. But you can have a virus that's making you sick. You get a virus that's causing brain fog, tingles and numbness, vertigo, dizziness, balance issues, eye issues, floaters, white spots, dark spots, gray spots in the eyes. You can have um, aches and pains, fevers going up and down, temperature fluctuations, hot flashes, okay? Um, I talked about dizziness, tinnitus, ringing in the ears, buzzing in the ears, tremors, vibrating. All these symptoms are viral. All these symptoms are viral. It's not about blood type. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. So just be careful so you can protect yourself is what I'm saying. It's about, you always pray before doing celery juice. I should start doing that. You just reminded me I should start doing that. That is, that is, you know what? I haven't been doing a lot of mindful eating. You know, I haven't been doing a lot of mindful eating. Uh, after the last Facebook Live, I just gobbled down the berries. I was like, 
I ate them. I, I didn't even remember I ate them. Isn't that terrible? I mean, because it was like, okay, on to the next thing. I have to get, I have to get the information done for everybody. I have to get things going. I have to get this book done. I have to make the deadline for liver rescue. I have to do, this isn't the book, by the way. This is just the manuscript. Um, and look how massive this baby is. It's unbelievable. What's in the subtitle? The subtitle is Answers to Eczema and Psoriasis, Real Answers. Diabetes, yes, strep. Strep is rampant in people. What does it do? Strep causes um, sinusitis, chronic si sinus problems. That's what strep causes. Strep causes acne. I got a whole acne thing in here. Gout, bloating, gallstones, all about gallstones. How to dissolve them, how to protect yourself. All about liver, liver flushes, the right way to do it, everything else, the whole thing, right? Adrenal stress, fatigue, fatty liver, which everybody practically has at this point. Weight issues, which come after having a fatty liver. SIBO, I cover in here. Autoimmune disease, and that's just a fraction. That's nothing. If the subtitle was a whole page, it would, it would, it would still be beyond that. Um, so back to, back to what you're doing for your healing. Back to getting yourself better. Back to taking care of yourself. It's about making sure that you're doing at least a few of the good things, a few of the good things and not get sidetracked by the noise out there, whatever you do. And I was talking about multiple sclerosis. People ask me that all the time. Um, you always say thanks while drinking celery juice. Hashimoto's thyroiditis, okay? Someone just talked about Hashimoto's. Tingling arms and, and, and legs are related to Epstein-Barr virus. Tingling, um, tingling legs, numbness that's related to Epstein-Barr. This is comprehensive about Epstein-Barr, information you can't get anywhere else. What you do is you sit down, <clears throat> you chill out, you read the book, you relax, you get some herbal tea, and you start to learn how to heal yourself. It's so important. I have a section in the book about what happens if your gallbladder is removed. Absolutely. There's no question inside liver rescue. If your gallbladder is removed, it doesn't mean you can't take care of your liver and give yourself a long life. Short life means liver not working good. That's what sh short life, liver not working good. Berries help the liver like you can't believe. The berry challenge, incredible what you guys are doing with the berry. It's unbelievable. Um, cysts on the liver means there was a virus inside the liver. That's what, that's what a cyst in the liver or on the liver means. I saw that come up as a question. That is um, a virus inside the liver. That's how it works with that. And... Um, so what about celery oil? Celery oil, nothing to celery juice. You can't, you can't hold a candle to celery juice. You can't. There's no celery powder. There's no celery oil. There's no celery root. There's no celery anything that can hold a candle to celery juice. Um, just so you know, that's, that's the whole thing. That's the reason why Spirit brought this to everybody so we can get better. And don't be afraid of it. Um, so yeah, so just looking out for other questions at the same time. Got a six-year-old, extreme pain in the legs. Um, uh, take out wheat, take out dairy, whatever you do. Take out wheat, dairy, take out eggs. Uh, you know, talk to your doctor, talk to your pediatrician, talk to your uh, your MD about it. But but you know, if you can remove some of those foods, um, you know, if you can, if you can, I totally understand. Um, that's first and foremost because with, with that kind of pain and everything else, that's a virus. So that's an undiagnosed virus by. Uh, uh, the doctor has to really figure that one out to know that that's viral. And because that's viral and, and causing a neurological condition, you want to make sure that you remove foods that could feed the virus. Um, you know, whether you're paleo, high protein, um, raw, raw vegan, plant-based uh, vegetarian, it's critical with any condition, any problem that you have, any symptoms, any issues that you have, any disease that you think you might have, a doctor may say or not or whatever, you've got to get rid of eggs. You have to get rid of eggs. I don't care how much you like them, you have to get rid of them. I, I'm a little stern on that because if I don't tell you the truth, if I don't, if I don't, if, I'm, if I don't have your back, then what do I have? What am I doing? If I don't have your back, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? You know, it, it's amazing. It's amazing. I'm not here trying to sell you something, okay? If you can't buy the book, go to the library. I don't care if a million people go to the library. Just go there and get a book. Get all the books from the library. I'm not trying to sell you something. You're not getting sold a big thing. You're not getting sold a big program. You're not getting sold a $5,000 program. You're not getting sold $5,000 different whatever it is and everything like that. It, it's not about that. I got your back. I want you to save money. I want you to use your money for the right things so you can heal. 
And because when people are sick, they have very little resources, and there's a lot of sharks out there that want to feed off of those resources. That's what they want to do. They want to create all these programs. Oh, come and do this big, long cleanse. Spend $5,000. Come and do this. Come and do that. And you know what? It's painful to watch. You have, there, there are tools to heal where you don't have to lose all your resources and get, and get, you know, and get the bottom feeders that are like eating off of you. It's not, it's not fair and it's not right. And if I don't have your back, then who's, then I don't get it. I mean, I wake up in the morning and I have to, I have to know that I'm doing what I have to do for you guys, no matter what it takes, it just has to be done. Um, I get kind of emotional about that because I know people have lost so much in their lives searching for answers. I've had people come to me after 20 years, 25 years. You have to know that I didn't start this yesterday. I didn't wake up one day five years ago and say, okay, I want to help people. And that's perfectly fine. I want you to wake up tomorrow and say, okay, I, I want to start doing this or I want to get the right information or I want to help people. I want you to do that. But pe people don't realize I've been doing this since a child starting from the beginning and my information's always been the same cutting edge up decades ahead from when I was 10 years old, eight years old, decades ahead. And it's, it's uh, so you need to know I'm out, I'm out to make sure that you guys are okay. That's the whole point. Um, somebody said, how do I find out what's wrong with me? First of all, if you I mean, first of all, if you have, if you go into different practitioners and they, you feel like they don't know, or you're not finding answers, get the books and look for Look for it. You got to look for it. Get the books and look for it. It's very important. If you don't, if you don't know what's wrong with you, if you don't know what's wrong with you, get life-changing foods. Go to the library. Get life-changing foods if you don't know what's wrong with you. And then look through the symptoms with every single food. If you see the, if you see berries right here, um, you see like the berries. I got the berry section of life-changing foods right here. Look into the symptom section, right? And you'll see the symptoms. You'll see like in, in the symptoms, there's a whole bunch. It's ovarian cysts, thickening uterus, inflamed uterus, ovaries, fallopian tubes, um, irregular menstruation, hormonal imbalances, hot flashes, heart palpitations, fatigue, tingles, sensations of humming or vibration in the body, okay? Um, numbness, blurry eyes, swallowing issues, headaches, nerve pain. Nerve pain means pain anywhere in the body that's unexplainable, okay? This is in the berry section of life-changing foods, just so you know. Um, I'm losing my spot. Um, cramping, uh, mineral deficiencies, if someone spots that and you like a practitioner. Um, spasming anywhere, intestinal spasming, spas uh, listlessness, ring your buzzing in the ears, malaise, fatigue, ringing in the ears, I said that already, brain lesions, spinal lesions, eye floaters, ear pain, jaw pain, neck pain, blood sugar imbalances, fatigue, brain fog, sluggish liver. You wouldn't know you had a sluggish liver, of course, until you, that, you, know, until you learn. But scar tissue anywhere that may, may, may be there that doctors can possibly find. You can just back pain, knee pain, poor circulation, swelling anywhere in the body. The point is, is that's just one set of symptoms for berries, okay, that you can find. Now, if you go through the book and you don't know what's wrong with you, look for your symptoms in all the fruits and vegetables and start eating those fruits and vegetables to those symptoms if you don't have any answers so you can start getting better. And by the way, that's the power of berries. Berries could actually help with everything I just said just there, and a lot more. That's, that's the power of berries. It's unbelievable. You got ashwagandha root? I like ashwagandha. You put ashwagandha in your smoothies? Wow, that's some like, ashwagandha is kind of bitter. You know, you, you know what, what I do with supplements is I don't, like to, I don't like to ruin my smoothie. I want my smoothie to taste good, so I want all the fruit in there. I want my smoothie to taste good, you guys. I don't like to put all my supplements in the smoothie unless it's the heavy metal detox stuff, just the spirulina, the Vimergy barley grass juice powder. I'll put the Vimergy wild blueberry powder in there. I'll put, um, I'll put some dulse in there for main coast sea vegetables. I'll put some dulse in there. Of course, I'll take cilantro, put cilantro in there. I'll put the fruit in there. I'll throw also some fresh wild blueberries in there, which are, you know, fresh wild blueberries, the Wyman's wild blueberries, right? Those are the frozen ones. I mean the frozen ones. And I put that in there and it blended up and that's my smoothie and I want to enjoy it. But I know that a lot of you, which I totally support 100%, I love it, in fact. You guys throw all your supplements in there. I totally get it. Uh, make it easy. But I don't want to taste my ashwagandha inside my smoothie. So what I do is I take a glass. I take a glass with a little bit of water. I throw my tinctures in there. I'll throw my licorice root in there. I'll throw my lemon balm in there. I'll throw my whatever ashwagandha in there, right? Put a little water in there and I'll chase it down. I'll hold my nose and I'll chase it down. And this way, I chase it down with a little bit of water. Boom, I could have my smoothie free and clear. My smoothie tastes great. That's what I like to do anyway. All right. So look, we're still on. Um, 
You use the index in life-changing foods to find your symptoms. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Um, can I talk about chronic hives? Yes, I can. Chronic hives. Chronic hives are toxins produced by a pathogen. That's what a hive is. A hive is toxins that are surfacing to the skin, causing a skin reaction. That's what that is. So if, if someone has Epstein-Barr, which, which creates a lot of lupus rashes, and they're not, some, a lot of people with lupus have all kinds of different rashes. They have hives, they have lupus type, you know, they have the butterfly stuff, they have non-butterfly stuff, rat, all kinds of different rashes. And, um, and you don't even have to have a diagnosis of lupus or anything like that. But what it is with hives is you could be just someone that feels good, but you're getting hives, that's a pathogen. Strep can cause some hives. So a little bit of strep in the system, a little bit of strep inside the liver. The one thing I, I did with liver rescue is, is I made sure I covered strep. You'll see strep right here. I made sure I covered strep like no one has ever covered strep ever before, including with pandas and everything else. And um, strep does cause a lot of hives. I know that um, teenagers that are actually getting their first you know, set of cases, cases of strep, or even younger children with strep, and strep throat and everything. They may get hives before strep throat, they'll get hives later on, years after, they'll get hives at different times. Hives are actually caused by a pathogen. You can have a little bit of strep in the system and you can know how to get rid of your strep. In, in uh, liver rescue, I got all the, the illnesses in here with all the dosages of the supplements. So supplements with dosages for them. And so, Epstein-Barr causes a lot of hives too. Other, other viruses you can cause hives too. Shingles, HHV6, cytomegalovirus in people. But most likely, if you're not really, if you're dealing with some mild symptoms plus hives, you're dealing with a little bit of EBV and a little bit of strep. You can learn all about that in thyroid healing as well. So um, that's, that's how hives work. What I would do is take away foods that feed viruses. The one thing you have to understand about the information that comes from me, it's ahead of research and science. Research and science doesn't believe that viruses actually eat anything. So they don't believe viruses feed off of food, that they don't have a way of eating. I'm going to tell you right now, in about 10 or 15 years, um, they're going to come out with, because of what we did, Spirit and I, getting the information out there, They have because what happens is it get, the information gets so strong, you guys are telling people it's getting out there, the books are getting out there, and then they have to then, they have to go to, they have to actually create a fake study explaining that virus, cause viruses can actually uh, ingest something. Now, you'll see that coming up in about a decade. And... Um, of course, I'll get no credit on that. But I've been saying it for decades. Viruses feed off of foods. And then when they eat, they go to bathroom. When a virus goes to the bathroom after eating, that bathroom can create a hive. It can create a rash. It can create eczema and psoriasis. It can create a lot of problems. It can create rosacea. People get the rosacea on their face. They get all the rosacea and the whole bit, the patches. It can create that. So that's what happens with, um, with hives. So you just need to know how it works. So what do you do? You take away the eggs. You take away the dairy products. You take away the wheat. You take away these things. You take away the corn. You take away pork. You take those away and you already got to start. Bring in some celery juice a little bit at a time. Bring in some berries, simple as that. I mean, come on. And you start working on healing. Do some lemon balm, lemon balm tea. Do a lemon balm tincture, the, the right kind. You can always go to my directory. If you guys are confused at what supplements are safe or what supplements are good or what supplements work, go to my directory uh, on the website. Um, you know, it's there for a reason. So um, any other questions I'm looking at? I know that you guys are... You guys are um, looking at stuff. Alopecia in young children. Alopecia in young children is a missing hormone in the adrenals. So it's about strengthening your child's adrenals. Like go to a practitioner. Go to a go to a practitioner that's open to those things. Go to a good doctor, a practitioner that's open to to supporting your child's adrenals. What happens is if one of your child's adrenals is missing or lacking a hormone, there's there okay okay there are hormones produced by adrenals that science and research don't know about. A vast amount of them are actually produced by the adrenals, and and these are not studied yet. There's there's they're so behind with chronic illness. It's painstaking. It's absolutely painstaking. So what happens is, so you need to support the child's adrenal. So you go to a doctor and you, and you ask for help and say, you, to a doctor that's open to it and you ask for help and you say, how can I support my child's adrenals uh, to help the alopecia? And the doctor might be like, well, that's not gonna help the alopecia because nobody knows. But you have to say, well, still, I wanna support my child's adrenals. And once you start doing that with a little bit of the right kind of B12, 
or, or um, a, a little bit of the zinc or and you talk to the doctor about and a little bit of vitamin C or you ask the doctor what, what the doctor would want, the holistic doctor would want to do to support your uh, child's adrenals, you can then start getting to a point of reversing or stopping the alopecia and even turning it around. I've seen it turn around in so many people for so many years. Um, so that's important to know. Anemia, anemia is a viral infection. That's what anemia is. It's a chronic long-standing viral infection. Learn about Epstein-Barr because Epstein-Barr is the anemia, is the whole anemic um, creator. So always know that. People walk around, they have, you know, God, 95, 98% of the people out there have some form of Epstein-Barr that could be sitting inside of them. Anemia is actually, is actually uh, is, is a result of a virus that actually feeds off of iron. And that's what happens. A lot of people that take too much iron who, who are anemic, they, they get even sicker because the virus will feed off of more iron and then create other symptoms. So you got to be careful with that. <clears throat> tinnitus and CFS. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> tinnitus and CFS. Tinnitus is um, an inflammation, the labyrinth of the inner ear. So you got the inner ear, the labyrinth of the inner ear. I'm doing questions like crazy today. <clears throat> doing a lot of questions like crazy today. The um, labyrinth of the inner ear is where all the tinnitus happens. So you need to know that. My voice, my throat's getting dry from rambling for an hour here. So you gotta remember that the labyrinth of the inner ear, it swells up. It gets swelled up because of a viral infection. EBV, I talk about that in here. Tinnitus is in here. Um, Life-changing foods, it's in there and it's also in thyroid healing. I would probably get thyroid healing for tinnitus and learn about the virus so you can get rid of it. I like using a little bit of the zinc because the zinc, when you put the zinc in your throat, what it does is it actually goes um, to the labyrinth of the inner ear and it starts to actually knock down the viral load. So your tinnitus starts getting better and better and better. Also, the labyrinth has, gets a little nerve damage, so you want to get B12 in you. B12 is critical, um, the right kind of B12. Um, yeah, I'm one of the first people, one of the first, not the first. I can't take credit on that. I'm one of the first people. Well, I'm, one, I'm the first pe person to know you needed two kinds of B12 to make one work, but, I, but I'm not the first person to come out with it or anything else like that. There is companies that now do adenosylcobalamin, methylcobalamin. They put them together. That one helps the tinnitus and helps the inner ear. So that's really cool too. I'm still looking <clears throat> for uh, questions, of course. How about hearing loss? If you weren't in like hearing machinery or loud decibels damaging the ears on any level and you are just got mystery hearing loss, once again, that actually is viral, same issue. Epstein-Barr causes all the hearing loss in people. Sometimes it's acute and they have to do steroids in the ear and then it comes back. That's a viral infection. I have seen shingles cause hearing loss though. That I have seen too. So shingles, when people get shingles up here or anything like it, you might not even see it. It gets into the inner ear. So that's another thing too. Um, drinking seawater, does it make any positive change on health? Um, I, I, you know, I don't think you need to drink seawater. There's so many things you can do. A celery juice is what I would do. It has cluster salts that nobody knows about, cluster mineral salts um, that are critical. So these are important. Information that I brought to the world about celery juice. Hydrochloric acid builds up hydrochloric acid. Nobody knew that. Um, that's one thing. Or um, drink. You've got to drink this on empty stomach to really help the liver build up bile reserves. This information I brought. Mineral salts, actually the cluster salts and mineral salts, what it does for you, all these things, and drinking 16 ounces, all that came from spirit. Nobody else. Wasn't anywhere else comes from spirit. I say that because know where the source is so you could actually get better and not get sidetracked and confused out there because it's like a, it's a whole bunch of noise out there, everybody. It's a whole bunch of noise, 100%. Um, what causes diverticulitis? Diverticulitis, strep and E. coli. That's what causes diverticulitis, strep. Uh, that's why I like liver rescue because you want you want to make sure you get the strep this thing is so heavy every time i pick it up and i have to show you guys i'm like oh my god i have to grab this thing again it's unbelievable liver rescue grab a copy as soon as you can go to amazon.com um really important so um and, and the thing is with strep is it gets in, it builds pockets it gets into your uh, colon, it gets into your small intestinal tract. First of all, SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, SIBO, which I talk about in liver rescue, is um, strep. I have to put this on my shoulder because this thing's such a beast. I have to actually put it on my shoulder. Um, so, so what happens with strep is it, it, it gets into the small intestinal tract and, and gets into your whole digestive tract, okay? That's what strep does, streptococcus. It gets in there, and then it causes a condition like SIBO. Doctors don't know it's strep-related, though. I talk about SIBO right here. You'll see SIBO, 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 SIBO. Where is it? Right there, SIBO. 
And, um, but also the strep gets down to the colon and that's where it really likes to make divots and pockets and can cause diverticulosis, diverticulitis. So that's what it likes to do. And E. coli does too. C. diff does too, but C. diff, C. diff isn't really a diverticulitis, diverticulitis uh, bacteria. It's really just strep and E. coli mostly and mainly. They're, they're the ones that really do it. So strep, you want to get a grasp on a whole bit. There's SIBO right here. Um, and you want to know what to do. Take away foods that will feed the strep. Strep eats, once again, eggs. I'm going to sound like a broken record. Once again, eggs. Somebody said to me, you guys, somebody said to me, oh, you're all about a couple of different things. You're all about celery juice. Oh, you want me to stop giving you the answer? You want me to stop? Oh, everybody else is allowed to repeat the same thing. Oh, low carb, no fruit, low carb, no fruit, low carb, no fruit. Everybody's like, high fat, low carb, no fruit. Everybody's allowed to say that. Like, do that. It's good for you. High fat, no, no grain, no grain, low. People are allowed to do that all day long, okay? I'm not allowed to say, do celery juice more than twice before people start saying, oh, that's all you know. No. You want me to take away something that's going to get you better? You want me to take away the truth? You want me to take away something that's going to help you? You think I'm, you think I'm going to get peer pressure down to stop giving you the truth that Epstein-Barr actually causes a, a multiple a bunch of dis different diseases and conditions and symptoms? You think I'm going to back down? I'm not going to back down, man. No way. Not going to back down. You guys need the answers and I can't back down. It's not going to happen. Never, never, never. Severe constipation, that's liver. That is the liver being sluggish. That's the liver being seriously sluggish. Severe constipation. The liver gets really, really, really sluggish. Um, celery juice, aloe vera. Do the aloe vera. Go into life-changing foods. Pick up life-changing foods. And order, of course, liver rescue, but pick up life-changing foods. If you can't afford it, library. If you can't afford liver rescue, library after it comes out soon. It's coming out pretty soon, really so shortly. So, so you know, check out the aloe vera in here. See, you'll see constipation in here. You'll see where, what I would do is go through here and every time constipation is listed as a symptom with all the different fruits, and here's berries, by the way, and you see any time you see constipation is listed in here, whether it's listed under papaya or something else, whatever it's listed in here, you start bringing those foods into mom so that the constipation, so the liver can start getting better, so the constipation can start getting better without a doubt. This is an answer. This is a question answering hour. It's incredible. Pituitary tumors, viral, 100% viral. The only way a tumor can actually get created, develop, or a growth can occur on the pituitary, around the pituitary pocket, or in and around, is 100% of virus and viral. A viral virus that makes cysts, tumors, and nodules all over the body. If you look at thyroid healing, you'll see, you'll see it's nodules, but in here I talk about cysts, I talk about tumors, I talk about everything. And there's, they're all, when it comes down to those little tumors and cysts, it's always viral, understand that. And so you want to do antiviral foods. You want to do antiviral foods. You want to do anti, um, um, you want to do antiviral herbs. You want to know this stuff. It's really important in, in thyroid healing. I talk about all the different herbs and all the different things that are actually antiviral. That's critical. What I would do with, a, with, with cysts um, or little growths and little tumors in the pituitary, I would make sure no eggs. No way. Eggs will grow a cyst like you can't believe. Eggs will grow ovarian cysts. It's amazing. What's, what a woman will get for advice for PCOS is high protein, high protein, high protein. The most disastrous advice you can give a woman with any kind of reproductive problems, whatever, no matter if it's fibroids, no matter if it's cysts, no matter if it's PCOS, ovarian cysts, no matter what it is, the ovarian cancer, um, whatever it is, you, you know, uterine cancer, whatever it is, the worst, the worst possible advice ever can be given is you eat a high protein diet. The most disastrous advice right there. And that's why I wake up in the morning and I say, I'm going to keep on doing this and I'm going to keep on doing this and I'm going to keep on doing this. Okay. Because it's unfair. It's an unfair world. It's really an unfair world. Like you guys don't know that already. And so what happens is when, when a woman's offered eggs for PCOS, it's so, so, <laughs> it's so bad. It's, it's just, it, it, it's terrifying. So because it'll grow cysts, it'll grow tumors like never before. It'll make your liver sick. Eggs will make your liver sick, sluggish, and it'll actually feed things that are in the liver. It'll actually feed viruses that create ovarian cysts, that create tumors, that create all of those things. You have to know how to protect yourself. You have to know how to protect yourself. You really do. Uh, myelin nerve sheath, how to recover from my, not myelin nerve sheath damage, okay? 
the right kind of B12, methylcobalamin, adenosylcobalamin, the right kind. Go to my directory, learn about it, the right kind of um, supplements that you need. And I want to talk about supplements for a second. Be careful, be cautious to um, people that want to get you like over to their program so they can sell you things without you knowing or or sell you things or get you away from the right information. Be cautious when you're on social media. Social media is a strange thing right now. There's a lot of people coming in, they're like, they're like, I wouldn't say like trolls, but I guess yeah, trolls, but like bottom feeders coming in and they wanna, or people that actually, they act like they're in your best interest and they wanna, they wanna lead you to something that actually is bad. Like there's people out there to be like, oh, well, all supplements are bad and medical medium doesn't know what he's talking about, but then they're just pushing alcohol. Tons of alcohol in supplements. Tons of alcohol. If there is alcohol in your herbs, then that is a great mistake right there. Alcohol in herbs. I don't care what kind of alcohol it is. If you got bottles of herbs, they're all 7%, 15% alcohol. You're basically, you're basically being sold shots of alcohol when you don't need that in your herbs. Always know that if someone's offering one herb with alcohol in it, you turn away. You just, boom, you turn away. And I bet you the people that are offering alcohol in their supplements right now, they're trying to get people away from the right stuff. I bet you they're going to start staring away from those alcohol in the supplements just because of what I'm saying now. Because you, when you call them out, they got to watch themselves. So you've got to be really careful. Alcohol and supplements, you've got to be really careful. It's disastrous. And it's the one thing you'll get when you're dealing with the information here. You'll get what's safe. What is, what is the right thing for you so you can do what you need to do. And guess what? I'm not selling anything, okay? Newsflash, I'm not selling anything. Um, so yeah, so you, gotta, you just got to know how it is. You got to know how it is. So the bottom line is, um, can multiple sclerosis be reversed? Yes, it can. Absolutely, it can be reversed. I've not only seen it, I've done it for people for years and years. I've been doing this for decades, long before I started doing the books long before I came on social media and started doing the books. And you have to understand, you guys, social media is, is, is one platform, okay? But you need to know that the books have gotten into millions of people's hands who aren't even on social media. And they're just living their life, reading the books, drinking their celery juice, making their lives better, reversing their multiple sclerosis. I've worked one-on-one -on -one with people with MS for decades since I was even young, since I was young. Yes, you can not only reverse it, you can turn it around and you can get it so much better. I'm telling you right that right now. I'm not kidding. Some tinctures have alcohol in them. Get rid of those tinctures. Get rid of them. Bye. See you later. Gone, okay? Someone's offering you tinctures. They want to sell you all these tinctures and they got a program and they got this and that and it's, they, whether it's a vegan program, whether it's a paleo program and they got all these alcohols and all the supplements and everything, turn around and walk because it'll make you sicker, not better. I'm just being straight up honest. I talk about it in the books. I'll talk about it now right here too. You can see I'm a little bit tough today because you know what? When I watch people suffer more because of misinformation, it's like a dagger in my heart right there. You know what I mean? If the haters want a dagger in my heart, keep on giving misinformation to, 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 to people that need information so they can heal. Keep on giving bad information and mis misinformation to them so it slows them down and leads them astray. That's a dagger in my heart. Keep on stabbing me. It's okay because I'll, I'll work on making sure you can, I can protect yourselves the best I can. No eggs, including anything with eggs in it. Do your best. If something's got some egg in it, okay, all right. If it's all you got, if pasta is all you got and it's got egg in it, if some kind of muffin has egg in it and it's all you have and it's a gluten-free muffin with egg in it and it's what you have, eat it. But just try not to like incorporate eggs heavily into your diet. Try not to bring in so many eggs into your diet where it's, 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 it's out of control because you'll get yourself in trouble. What about RA? Oh my God. Rheumatoid arthritis. Just, it's in here, okay? It's Epstein-Barr. I'm the first ever to bring to the world that Epstein-Barr causes RA. And now there's articles saying, we think RA is linked to EBV now. They're doing it because of this. They don't like knowing this is out there because then they could say, then people could be like, oh, wait a minute, it was discovered, so let me go to science. No, it's not discovered. They're just using that, that's what they do, and they use that to lead you guys astray. So always be careful and know that. That's how it works. There's some amazing scientists out there. I know a lot of them, and they tell me how it works. They tell me studies are just created out of thin air. 
to try to derail other things that are coming out that are actually changing the course of medicine in the way that medicine doesn't want it changed because it's taking money away from the industry. And I talked to scientists about this. They tell me that when they're funded, they're funded by investors. The investors want an outcome and they demand the outcome or they'll never be funded again. And, and the outcome has to be thumb on the scale and it has, they have to take a part of the outcome and they have to glorify it. They have to do things that are not in your best interest. I talk about this all the time. And there's some amazing scientists, brilliant people out there in the world. And they're trapped in this trap. And I, they talk to me openly. They call me, they call me privately and they say, look, I'm a, I'm a geneticist, I'm a scientist, and I'm telling you right now, AW, this is how it works. It's so sad. It's not only thumb on the scale. They pressure you to do this. They do what they want. They get money and investors. And then it comes out. They even create studies when they see when you put out the truth. When you put out the truth, then studies come out to try to counter it. Unbelievable. Get the truth so you can get better. So get the truth so you can get better. All right. What more can I say? I could do all I can do. All right. I'm not going to be here forever. I'm not. So we got we to gotta get what we got to get done. Okay. I can't live to be 200 years old. I can't, you know, so we just got to do the best we can. Um, so uh, where can you find uh, celery juice? Buy celery, buy a juicer, juice it best you can. If you can, if it's not in your area or you have no access to it, then we'll do, then do, do, we'll do other things, we'll work on other things. Go to my blog, look for recipes, look for different things. We'll find other foods, get life-changing foods. We'll just do other things to help you heal. Um, you love listening to what I'm saying? Aw, bless your heart. Bless your heart, seriously. That's just really nice. Supposedly nothing wrong with my nerves, but you, something with your neck, I was seeing something like that. It might have been longer than it was. Um, nerve stuff is all viral if it's not all mechanical. Fibromyalgia is Epstein-Barr virus. Okay, it's another thing. Someone said to me, you guys, oh, Epstein-Barr, Epstein-Barr. Okay, you want me to then, what do you want me to do? Tell you something else? Like, how about if I lie to you and tell you it's all your genes causing all your pain? How about if I tell you it's faulty genes, that your genes are why you're sick, and that it's your fault? How about if I lie to you and do that? Because that's what they all do out there. So if I'm telling you the truth that it's Epstein-Barr, what am I supposed to do? Stop telling you the truth? Am I supposed to start lying to you? Oh, it's genes. No, it's all genes. It's, it's, you need, you need a gene therapy eventually. It's your genes. You're faulty. God, it's sick. Or it's your body attacking itself. You know what I mean? Like that's another bull, bull thing. Oh my God. Got to get you guys better. That's it. Got to get you guys better. It's about you and that's the bottom line. Juicers are pretty cheap, $50. If you have to get a cheap juicer, get a cheap juicer, absolutely. And I'm going to do another juicer giveaway. Um, and we don't give away the cheap juicers. I buy them myself. I buy everything for our giveaways. I buy the books. I'm saying that by the end of this thing. I'm saying this. I buy the books for you guys for the giveaway. I buy the everything. Now, Liver Rescue, seriously, you won't be disappointed. Lock down a copy. You know, I mean, I hope there's enough. Co I would probably lock down a pre-order for sure because I don't know if they're going to run out right off the running or whatever it's going to happen. So if you put your name down on one, then it sure as you get one. If you can't afford a book, if you can't afford whatever this is going to cost, whatever they're going to price that, I don't know what they're going to price that, $18, $20 or whatever it is. If you can't afford Liver Rescue, wait for it to come out and go to the library. Please do that. It doesn't matter. There's very little money made off the books anyway. Um, all authors know there's there's barely anything that's made off a book. The publisher has to publish it. They have to print it. They have to put it out there. That's how it's always been. Um, authors authors make a ton of money if they sell things. If they go out and sell things, there's there's a lot of you know fancy doctor authors and they sell ten million dollars. Uh, they ten million dollars, twenty million dollars a year in supplements. They do things like that. I don't do that. I don't sell things. I don't make money off the sick. It's all about just get the information. Get the information. Get the information. Please do, please do, please do, please do. Okay? I could, I, I could beg for you to get the information so I know you're healing, <laughs> so I know you guys are good. Um, anyway, so we're co we covered a lot of, a lot of um, symptoms, and it's really important. Thank you, too. Okay? Thank you, and God bless you. God bless you, truly. Okay? Um, you got your hyperthyroid. The hypothyroid, I mean, you make sure you get the life-changing, uh, sorry, you can get life-changing foods. I got that in there, too. Make sure you get thyroid healing and do something about it. Thyroid problems, hypothyroid is a virus that gets into the thyroid and research and science doesn't know that yet, but that's what's happening. Thyroid healing, where do you buy it? Amazon, go to amazon.com, go to Barnes and Nobles, amazon.com, go to a brick and mortar store. Um, you can go get it without a doubt. Um, you, you actually, you just, you, you just want to understand genetic testing. 
Look, genes play a role in our life without a doubt. And there's a lot of mystery in them and it's profound. I mean, genes are amazing. It's why we look like our ancestors. It's why we look like the people we, you know, where we come from. Genes are actually, they're actually a part of our life. It's why we get the hereditary traits. It's why we get all that. But genes aren't why you're sick. It's not why everybody got sick in the last 30 years. Okay, it's not why it, genes were fine, genes were fine, genes were fine, genes were fine, 10 years, 10 years, 20 years, 100 years, genes were fine, 200 years, genes were fine. All of a sudden, the last 30 years, genes are bad? Genes all went bad in the last 30 years, you guys. Unbelievable. It's actually demented and they think we're stupid. That's the thing is, is science and research, when they're pushing certain agendas and studies, not all science and research, don't get me wrong. Okay, you build a, build a rocket ship, it's the most amazing thing. It's all incredible. It's a different kind of science. When it comes down to chronic illness, it's about, you know, thinking we're stupid. So you can just sell us anything. It's really crazy. Anyway, you guys, I love you. This has been incredible. Berry Challenge still going on. I'm telling you that right now. Berry Challenge. Drink your celery juice. I love you guys. Bless your heart. Seriously, drink your celery juice. I'm giving away books. I buy them, I give it away. I'm giving away Vimergy. Go to Vimergy.com if you want to get their, you know, blueberry powder or anything else. Somebody asked, I saw it come up earlier that somebody said, hey, how do I get the wild blueberry powder? Um, and I saw that last time, Vimergy.com, V-I-M-E-R-G-Y. Get that. Get the wild blueberries from the freezer section in the store. And, of course, I like coconut water. Do I have anything? Am I getting sponsored by these companies? No. I buy the stuff. I want to give it away. I love you guys. Bless you. God bless you. Okay? Over and out. You're the greatest.